Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Bhushan. In the previous video, we have discussed about the Spring Boot application. We have seen how we can create a REST API using Spring Boot and Hibernate. We have not used JPA or the JPA specific methods. Without using JPA, uh, using a Hibernate, we have created a REST API, which is an employee API. So in this video series, we are going to convert that REST API into a java web application or a, a spring boot web application so that you will have a understanding of how we can create a spring boot rest api and as well as the spring boot web application so we will make use of the same application and we're going to convert that into a web application so let's get started right now i'm inside the eclipse id uh, we have created this uh, spring boot crud api in the previous video series if you haven't checked that uh, video series the link will be given in the description section go ahead and check out so i'll copy the same project and i'll paste it one more time okay let me open the project i'm going to copy this and i'll paste it and uh, it's asking me to uh, give the project name. I'm going to give it as a Spring Boot Web App CRUD. And I'm going to choose the same uh, location. Click OK. It is going to create a new project. And uh, it will take a few seconds to uh, update the Maven dependencies. Uh, OK, now let me open the project. And uh, let's go to the pom.xml. In order to convert this uh, uh, REST API uh, application or REST API into a uh, web application, we need to add a couple of dependencies. So let me open the file, which I have already copied the dependencies. I'm going to take these three dependencies. I'm going to add it in a pom.xml. So the first dependency is a Spring Boot Starter Tomcat and the Tomcat. The second one is Tomcat Embed Jasper and the third one is JSTL. Of course, you know that JSTL is for uh, um, uh, in the JSP, we need to have a uh, iterate over the items and to put some conditions. We will use a JSTL tag, and this is a Spring Boot starter Tomcat. We need a JSPs. We will use a JSPs in our uh, web application. So for that, we need these two dependencies. So I'm going to copy these three dependencies, and I'll open the pom.xml, and I'll paste it right here. And I'm going to save this and it is going to download the dependencies that we have added just now okay let me right click on the project and i'll choose maven update the project i'll choose force update of snapshots or releases it is going to update the maven dependencies forcefully all right now i'll directly go to the application dot properties in the application properties we need to add two properties one is for a prefix and suffix if you are working with the spring mvc and hibernate you know that we need to add a view resolver so we need to tell where the jsp pages are located for that we need to add two two properties so the first property is uh, let me copy this i don't want to type it copy this and i'll paste it right here okay so our jsp pages are located inside the views folder the views folder will be located inside the web inf and the web inf is located inside the web app so let's go ahead and create these directories in our project so let me save this so inside the source and inside the main and uh, i'm going to right click and i'll create a new folder i'm going to call this web app So inside the web app, I'm going to create a web enough. Inside the web enough, I'm going to create a another folder. I'm going to call this views. So inside the views, I will create a two JSP files. I'm going to call this employees list I'm 
I'll copy this and I'll paste it one more time and I'll change this to employees add click OK all right we have created a two JSPs one is employees add and employees list now what I'll do is I'll go to the employees list JSP and I'll add a h1 tag this is okay let me write employees list and save this and I'll go to the employees add and I'll add a one more h1 tag add employee let's save this and I'll go to the controller I'm going to comment this okay this is not commenting I'm going to remove this rest controller because we are not going to create a rest API so I'll annotate this with a controller and I'm going to remove this request mapping we don't need any class level mapping I'm going to create a new method public the return type would be model and view and I'm gonna call this list or get I think it's fine and I'm going to annotate this method with the at request mapping value I'm going to give a multiple request mappings slash slash home slash index all right and inside this I'm going to call the employee okay let me create a model and view object and the model name would be it's not a model name it's a view name would be employees list and I'm going to return the model and view so for just for a testing purpose I'm going to return the employees list let's save this all right go to the main class and right click and choose run as run on Java application and the application is going to run you can see the console messages let me expand this started spring boot crud api application uh, in some seconds let me go to the browser and i'll type localhost 8080 uh, you can see that the employees list so which means the application is working fine that's it in the next video we're going to fetch the employees list and we're going to display it in a table format so thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video